So this is the accessible room at Disney's Sequoia Lodge. So we'll just walk into the room. There's a mirror on the right. Hanging uh, hangers on the left with a safe. And in this room there is a single bed, telephone, and two bunk beds, along with various decoration along the wall, big window, table with menus, lamp, and so on, and a TV. And here is the bathroom. So this is an accessible bathroom. Standard toilet. Hairdryer, sink, and mirror. And there is the shower with the toilet seat and shower system with Disney toiletries. But we can't sleep in this room. There's no double bed. We don't want to sleep on bunk beds. Although Caroline probably would uh, would want to do that to get rid of my snoring. So we can go through here. And there's Caroline. And in here is two double beds. All the same facilities as the room next door with the TV, uh, the drawers, chairs and table. And this one has a standard bathroom. So you've got the hangers, safe, and a standard bathroom with a bath and shower combo with toilets in here also. And this room is themed all around Bambi. So there is Sumper, I'm assuming. And there is Bambi. And this is the Sequoia Lodge accessible room. So you get two rooms. When you book an accessible room here, you get this room and the room with the accessible bathroom. And the reason you get two is they don't have double beds in the accessible room, which is a strange setup, but that is how they do Disneyland Paris. Let's just start by saying the this room or these rooms rather at the Sequoia Lodge definitely need a refurb. A major one. A major one. They are falling apart a little bit and they're a bit worse for wear. There's a little bit of damage here and there. Um and they also need to sort out all of the hotels at Disneyland Paris need to sort out their whole accessible room situation. It is ridiculous that you have to have two rooms when they can easily just put the double bed in the room that's got the accessible bathroom. You don't need to have two rooms and a nightmare with keys and room between them and, and all that stuff. It's a bit ridiculous, really. So you need they need to sort that out. So from an accessible situation, I think it's really, really poor how it's set up. And there's, there's no explanation for it, really. Um, <clears throat> you don't, I've never seen it done this way anywhere else. And there's many hotels in the world and it's just a bit strange. But yeah, the, the hotel rooms, um, less the grounds. The, the grounds are, are pretty good, well maintained. The hotel smells nice. Um, the inside parts of the hotel are, are pretty good, but the rooms need a refurb. Um, they're also very, very noisy as well. You can hear people running around, jumping, um, and so on. Um, the showers, water pressure's great. Water's good, um, but and I think they're new as well, but they've put them on, at least in, on the normal shower and over the bath. Strange, in, when, it, when it's lined up, the shower head is pretty much in line with the side of the bath, which means that you have to have it at a weird angle and water gets everywhere and it's just a bit ridiculous because they put the little pole thing that it attaches to in the centre instead of off centre so that the head's in the middle. But just simple things like that can fix it. Um, what are your thoughts? Anything you want to add? The accessible shower is powerful. Yeah. It's hot, which is what I like. Um, but the actual room itself is really... What are you doing? He's really... He's really run down. This didn't I wouldn't say it's old. really run down. It's just it's old and worn and needs... Freshening up, basically. The beds, though, the beds are like lying on concrete. They are not comfortable at all. No, we had a terrible night last night. Ter ter terrible sleep. Um, I just don't, I don't know. The curtains are horrible. I just don't feel comfortable in the room and it's unusual. I, I don't know. The style of the room is, is fine. I mean, it's nothing, it's not fantastic. 
Um, the style of the room is, is fine. It suits the lodge aspect of it. And the location of the hotel is pretty spot on. Um, pretty, well, you, pretty close to everything. You could show them what I mean by how dark it is because literally the window we have is covered by trees. So it's just dingy. It, if oh, and, and, and not all the light switches work. Yeah. And not all the plug sockets work. So that's, yeah, it's a, it's a bit difficult. The plug sockets that work are like right next to the door. And the light switches are, are all over the place. They, they, they need to take a, a leaf out of some other hotels and refurb this a, pretty, a much better. I don't think I would stay here again. I would definitely stay at another Disneyland hotel. But probably not this one. I'd probably go more for like Newport Bay or something like that. Even though we haven't visited there or seen the rooms yet. But we've heard good things. Mm. So that is the Sequoia Lodge review.